and a headache that we have all had on morning commutes getting stopped by a train. Trains are blocking busy roads and it could soon be a thing of the past. A bill proposed in the U.S. House aims to fix that problem that we have really dealt with here in Middle Tennessee. News Channel 5's Cole Johnson joins us live from downtown Nashville. Cole, this proposed bill tackles a number of things. Hey, good morning, Rebecca. It's called the Don't Block Our Communities Act, and as you mentioned, it has impacted quite a few people here in Nashville and in Middle Tennessee. And one of the headlines when I was reading through the bill a bit is, or a summary of the bill rather, is that it would create a 10 minute time limit for those parked trains on those crossroads. And now I want to get a little bit further into this because it also does more than that. On, on top of it all, it also would give the Transportation Secretary the ability to find the railroads, a national block crossing database and a railroad contact person for all blocked crossing matters. Representative Jim Cooper said in a statement he attached the bill to the quote giant must pass invest in America Act. This has been an ongoing issue and something we've reported on multiple times. Representative Cooper's office says they've gotten countless complaints. Just last month, we told you about a Bedford County man who died after first responders were delayed by a train stopped on the tracks. And at the state level, lawmakers recently passed a bill making TDOT report annually the data collected from the Federal Railroad Admission Administration's blocked railroads reporting website. Now we're going to have more on this bill and a link to that website if you do get stuck behind a train up on our website, newschannel5.com later on this morning. Ben, Amy, 